Michelle here with Dreaming English and here we're at Castle Island and it's the 4th of July so today we're going to go around and show you different things in Boston probably Boston Common and parts of the Freedom Trail and what it's like here during coronavirus time it's usually very very busy here in Boston on 4th of July but today it's fairly quiet we really didn't have much traffic at all many people here. It looks like a very quiet weekday. So behind me is the harbor and you'll see some sailboats behind me. So just to show you, so Castle Island is in front of me and there's an old fort there and behind me is another kind of island area with a wastewater. Somewhere right over there is a wastewater facility and there's sailboats going by. So behind me you can see the playground and earlier during the quarantine the playgrounds had yellow tape around them and the kids weren't allowed to play but now this playground is open. And behind me over here is like a little beach area in the harbor where people can swim. So there's some people playing in the sand and putting their feet in the water. So behind me is the skyline and above us, ha planes have been going above us. There it goes, there goes a plane. Now, so behind us is a squirrel that we're feeding. We're at Boston Commons and there are squirrels and they're very hungry and we've thrown it a peanut wrapped with peanut butter around well, it, right? It's, um, actually, it's more of like peanut butter and some almonds and then raisins inside of it. And also, it turns out, um, my friends, they really like putting squirrels with cheesy puffs and it turns out squirrels don't even like cheesy puffs. We try yeah, squirrels twice. do not like cheesy curls. So, Ava and Kira, that is not true. Let's see. So the squirrel is very hungry. You can see him behind us. So behind me is the grave of Samuel Adams, who was one of the signers of our Declaration of Independence. So behind me is Bunker Hill Memorial, and there's also a map of the Freedom Trail. So behind me is the Esplanade, and usually on the 4th of July, there would be tons of people there because there'd be concerts all day, and there would be fireworks over the Charles River. But today, because of the um, coronavirus and the quarantine and whatever we're going through, this phase reopening, there is no concerts and there are no people basically, and there will be no fireworks. Um, the television, they're going to play some fireworks on television from past years, but that's the Esplanade. And it's the Esplanade that you saw in our other video about the 4th of July that was behind Kat and I. So in some years past, we actually parked across the river at the Boston Museum of Science parking garage and watched the fireworks from there um, because then we could see we could see the fireworks, but we didn't get stuck in all the traffic and it wasn't as crowded. Um, so right across the river is the Boston Museum of Science parking garage, and they actually will have barges on the river that would shoot off the fireworks. So behind me, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a monument. This, we're in Lexington where the Revolutionary War actually started and the shot heard throughout the world. Um, so right here, it's probably maybe 10 miles or so from Boston, uh, but this is where everything started for the American Revolution. So right there is the monument. Right here is Lexington Monument. And again, I said this is where the Revolutionary War actually started. Stand your ground. Don't fire unless fired upon. But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here. Captain Parker. Line of the Minutemen. April 18th, 
1775.